Alright, so it's the next morning. We're having like a really late breakfast. It's now noon. I have a headache. Everyone is not feeling 100%, I think. And everyone feels kind of sweaty and uh, yeah, hungry. And I think I'm gonna jump in the water after breakfast to get a wash. And yeah, maybe we can call the harbor to get into the harbor or I don't know what we're gonna do. Just running the generator right now so that we could cook. Because we have a electric cooking system which is not ideal. We have to run the engine to be able to cook, which is stupid, but that's how it is right now. So on this trip we plan to anchor a lot and not go into marinas because we cannot afford the marinas, they're too expensive. And yeah, basically this whole project has not a lot of money. So for example, now right now we have to be really careful with our fresh water because if we run out we have to go somewhere to pick up some water. We were washing all the dishes with salt water and showering in the sea water. <laughs> so yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so basically now we arrived in a very special marina because here's like a wooden boat club and here are so many wooden boats around us. And it's really beautiful to finally see other wooden boats because in my year the Labora was the only wooden boat and there are so beautiful ones here. Oh, that's a pretty sad picture here. There's a sunken boat, only like the pilot house sticking out. Oh, wonder what happened there. So today we got invited to join like a celebration or an anniversary from the wooden boat club here because today is the 100 year anniversary of the independence of the Faroe Islands and because of that there are some boats coming from the Faroe Islands to the port here in Aarhus and it's gonna be like a small festival and celebration and as you can see there are many wooden boats that are now going out and we go into the other harbor, the big harbor where normally only the big ferries go to and yeah I think it's gonna be nice to meet these people from the Faroe Islands and to connect to all these people with wooden boats that are yeah kind of similar people like we are I guess.
on each other and probably we will try to dock onto one of the other boats from Faroe Islands which will be really amazing I think. Are you ready if we dock here? Alright, let me introduce you to Chris. He's the skipper of this beautiful wooden sailboat here called Socrates. And he's doing a really cool project where he's um, making this boat sometimes into like a coffee. And Chris, what do you offer in your uh, swimming coffee? Um, I don't know, it's a, I'm a, oh. I'm a, I call oh. myself a sea nomad. <laughs> Again. And it's a... Uh, it's a nomadic adventure for meeting nice people and for that I serve coffee and ice cream. Sometimes laying for anchor, having swimming guests and sometimes uh, just to the pier. And That's really cool. Uh, I don't know what it's going to end up with but it's a fun process and the ice cream is good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, it is. Mostly I meet great people. And um, I get to purpose sell my boat, which is the real purpose. And uh, hopefully I can make a tiny living of it, so I don't have to work elsewhere. Other than that, I'm just having fun. Great project. Yes. And also to yeah restore this boat and keep it running. And yes, that's uh, it's always easier if you can do it for someone, if you can do anything for someone, like when you're cooking dinner at night, it's greater cooking the dinner if you have someone to serving it to. Mm -hmm. And that whole philosophy can you put down on the boat. Mm -hmm. So by making the boat nice, inviting people in, it's a greater pleasure for me. Mm -hmm. So it's really all just egoistic. <laughs> but in, uh, Really cool to meet people who are doing similar things like we do. Yes, mm. that's and the best part <laughs> yeah. parts yeah. of meeting people when they have yeah when when travels crosses. Mm. It's always uh, most times pretty nice or magic or I don't know the magic of traveling. Someone once said, and I think that's a good word. Mm. Because if you're just in your like everyday concept lifestyle, you're not always as open for yeah. the travel magic that comes across. I say it was like everyone has a little bit like the Lone Ranger in themselves, but everyone needs a family, right? And when you have like one boat, you're on a family like that, and then you have three boats more people together gathering as a family celebrating together. Yeah, that's the power. The power of people. In in the north bay of Aarhus there is a little uh, smaller bay from the bay and it could really be nice sometime living there. Perhaps not all year but just for a season then. The ones who wants to try the off-grid living, and we could have like um, bonfires, <laughs> bonfires, bonfires, bonfires all the time. 
Yeah. <laughs> and like a, a fleet with a water tank and yeah. like all the different boats with their specialities and then you could like visit each other with your small dinkies and stuff <laughs> yeah, and just good. laying for anchor everyone. Once a week we're doing the groceries, going for land and like <laughs> dumpster diving, bringing a 20 liter can of diesel and a little cream for the coffee and yeah and then we're good for running another week. Yeah. And then we get guns and go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's a dream that might come true, I don't know. But we have, there's uh, a few interested in it, at least we keep it as a motivation for doing our boats, putting solar panels on so we can actually have it, electricity out there, yeah. all those small details that the old wooden boats don't have before you install them. Mm -hmm. yep.